Welcome to the CCH Access video series. In this video, we'll show you how to import a 1065 K1 into a 1040 return. We have a 1065 return prepared and ready for the K1 to be exported into our 1040 return. It's been checked that our partner's name, first name, last name and social security number are all correct. Scroll down to my partner information and select export file 1040 only and select my client ID of my target return. You can either type this in or if you double click into the space, a list of all your returns will appear and you can select the one that you want to export into. Once that has been entered, go to our export K1 data and export our K1 into our 1040 return. Once we have that selected, the validation status will appear. Click export. Then our export status will appear. After the export has completed, click finish. Now, we can open our 1040 return. Opening the 1040 return, you'll see there's a notification that lets you know that our K1 data has been changed. You can either dismiss this or review the K1. In this case, we'll review our K1s. The K1 manager screen will appear. This screen displays all of our K1s that are in our 1040 return regardless if there's been a K1 that's been exported or not. Each entity displays the type of entity it is. For the K1s that have been exported into our 1040 return, you'll be provided with the date and time the export was initiated. Also, if there's a new K1 that's been exported into our return and I have never had the specific K1, it will indicate as new. Same thing goes for final year K1s. Here we can select the K1 we want to import into our 1040 return and we can either select import through this action column and select import or we can just select import from here. Once our K1 has been successfully imported, we'll receive this notification and it'll take us back to our K1 manager screen. You'll be able to see the date and time that the K1 was imported. Now let's check to ensure that our information that was imported into our return was correct. Go under the partnership pass through. As you can see here, the name of the K1 is appearing. The partner's name is appearing, all of the information and on section 2 is appearing. We'll go down to our activity where we imported only one activity. All of that information on page 1 of the K1 is displaying. We are able to import all of our credits, under line 20, recapture of low income housing. We import the address, the date placed in service, and all of that information. Keep scrolling down to our activity continued and as you can see here, all of the credits were imported and QBI was also imported. Since there was three different activities within this K1, it was broken down by each individual activity. Keep in mind, that as of right now, our K1 import tool only works for 1065 K1s being imported into our 1040 return. If you are importing a K1 other than a 1065 return, you'll have to use the old method. To return to the K1 manager screen, click import and export, then K1 data. Select K1 from 1065 and you'll be back into our K1 manager screen. 